one of the greatest gifts that God can give you is allowing you to see someone in a position that you could have been in if you didn't make the right choices. Now, I know somebody, and I talked about this already in my story. If you want to go on and see it, you can. I did a live earlier. Tale of two sisters. Sister A, married young, stayed with the one person until he passed on, had children with this person. Those children have gone on to have children, and she even has great-grandchildren at this point. She is there for everything for her children. They have a close-knit family. She's even there for her nieces and nephews, a very close-knit family. She's happy with her life, even though her husband passed on about 20 years ago. But she's happy with her life because at the end of the day, whatever she was handed, she decided to make the best of it. So she can shed knowledge and just impart life's wisdom on others because she is happy with herself. She is happy with her life and she is not allowing anything to ruin that for her. Sister B, not the same. Got married, got divorced, had some kids out of that marriage, did not get married again, but had a partner that they stayed with for a very long time. Partner passed away a couple of years ago, so they had about 40, 50 years together. They had a child together as well. Now, Sister B poured everything into that last child. I don't know if it was because they felt like that last child would take care of them and they would have nothing to worry about, or if because the last child was a different gender from the other children and they had a gender preference. But cut to that last child does not take care of Sister B at all. Now, Sister B has grandchildren and great-grandchildren as well, but Sister B did not pour into those grandchildren to make them feel loved. So now, Sister B needs assistance because she's older. She knows that um, she needs things done, but she's always lived her life in fear. She's never been on a plane. When she travels, other people have to put everything together for her because she's so scared that something is gonna happen. She's scared of the dark. She's scared of snakes. She's scared of everything. So she lives her life in fear. And the issue that she has is that she treated so many people badly and rudely that now at this point in her life, sorry y'all, trying to give y'all another angle. Now at this point in her life, when she needs people, guess what? Nobody wants to help because Sister B has been annoying. Sister B has been rude. Sister B has been disrespectful all across the board. So, like I said, these are sisters. And they happen to have one thing happen in life that made them different. Sister A was raised by different people than Sister B was. But the whole point of this is they both had choices that they could make. They both had choices on how to treat people. They both come from the same DNA and they made different choices. You don't want to live your, your life in the same type of fear that Sister B is living her life in because being 80 years old and living in all that regret, I can't imagine it. I can't imagine it at 40. There are things that I regret, yes, that I wish I would have done differently. Don't get me wrong. But I see it as a new start. So if I stick with what I'm doing and I keep on encouraging and empowering people, I know that I am going to be great. And it's not going to take that long. I give myself two years tops, to be honest. And I'm going to be at a point where I'm going to make headway. And I am going to be able to say the dedication and sacrifice and hard work that I put in was worth it. Okay? So look at your life. See if God has placed some people in it that are basically the personification of the choices that you could have made or would have made and see what you think of their life whether it's negative or positive but if looking at what is happening with them makes you think about the choices that you're making you need to get up off your butt get stuff together visit my website 
www.mommymorebugs.com. Book a discovery call and let's focus on you because I'm all about trying to assist people with being great at whatever it is they choose to be. It's time to stop putting yourself off to the side and it's time to do something for you. You got to start somewhere and you got to start some time. Why not now?